Hello my friends, welcome to Anna's Violets. Today we're going to talk about this wonderful Tradiscancia albiflora nanook. I'm going to tell you some care tips and what's most important, why you're not allowed to propagate this plant. Stay tuned! Well, as you see, this is a very wonderful variety of Tradiscantias. Of course, there are so many varieties. The most spread ones are the ones with only green leaves. But this one has pink, as you see, it, it has green stripes. And also from the bottom, you can see that it's very dark pink and very beautiful. One of the things that is very char characteristic to this particular variety is that the stems are growing upwards. So it's not trailing, but it's growing actually upright. Of course, you can grow this plant as a house plant indoors, but also outdoors. So what's the difference? Of course, your plant will need a very bright area, be it indoors or outdoors. If you're growing them as a house plant indoors, try to make sure that your plant is in a bright area so that it can get full, uh, you know, a very bright area, but not full sun. Also, if you're growing them outdoors, again, make sure that they are growing in a semi-shade. If they are under the burning sun the whole day, you can see that the leaves may be damaged. You can see that these are, for example, uh, spots just because of the sun. And this is too. This is not a disease, but this is the damage caused by the sun. As for the watering, try to make the, the soil always uh, moist, not too wet, because if the soil is too wet, then maybe your plant can get rotten. Of course, these plants are very low maintenance plants. It's very easy to grow them. However, if you're growing them outdoors, make sure that they're not under the sun and also not under the rain if it rains a lot in your area. If you're growing them indoors, you may notice that if they do not receive enough light, the leaves may lose color. You can see that these leaves are a little bit yellow compared to, for example, these old leaves, because now it's winter, they don't have uh, enough uh, light, and so the leaves are a little bit, you know, uh, losing this dark pink color, well, compared to these ones, for example, or these ones, or this, see? But as soon as they will receive uh, more light, they will gain the color, and they will be more, you know, pinkish. And of course, you can notice that the stems are not trailing, but the stems are very, very thick and they are growing upright. So this makes this uh, variety of Tradiscancia a very unique one. Now, why can't you, why aren't you allowed to propagate this plant? Well, of course you can. However, when you buy this plant, you usually get a, a label with it saying that the propagation of this plant is not allowed. Well, it's just because this plant uh, is produced in 2012. It's quite a new plant. So in the Netherlands, they produced this variety by pollinating two other varieties of um, seedlings of Tradescancia albiflora. And this Nanook Tradescancia is a new cultivar. So it's a patent plant. That's why you're not allowed to propagate it. However, it means uh, that you are not allowed to propagate it for, you know, large-scale propagation and sale. However, if you buy it for yourself, you can, of course, propagate it and have as many Tradescantias as you need to or as you want to. So you can have, of course, multiple of them. You can grow them and propagate them for your friends, for your relatives. However, you will not be able, you will not be allowed to propagate and sell this plant as your business. So if you would like to know more information about this variety, the patent number is PP29711. You can maybe search and find more relevant information about this plant. And what's most important, if you would like to have a bigger pot and a bigger plant, of course, it's a very good idea to, to uh, replant it, to actually repot your plant once a year into a fresh soil, into a little bit bigger pot and how to determine when and how to do it. Well, when um, in terms of season, it's of course always spring when the temperatures get higher and, you know, uh, the growth is activated. And also how to determine when, when is the right time. Of course, when you see that the roots are going out from the bottom of the pot. Definitely this pot is already too small for this plant. And as soon as I repot it, it will start to grow really fast. And as for the size, maybe you can take 
a pot just a little bit bigger than this pot and then every year when you uh, repot it into a bigger one your plant will get bigger and bigger of course you can also propagate your plant well now i have already shown you that there is a small baby growing from the soil here it is very pink and cute one but you can also actually uh, divide the plant so here i have four plants so you can divide your bush of your tradiscansia and uh, pot them up in different pots so you can have for example four different pots of this plant but also you can cut the stems and propagate them by um, cuttings so you can actually leave maybe two three nodes and cut a little bit you know shorter like this or like this depending on how big how long you would like your stems to be uh, the most important thing is that these nodes, if you cut under the node, but well, here we can see that uh, this variety has quite thick uh, stems, which means that the nodes are very close to each other. Wherever you cut it, it's already fine. And you can also leave them in water. You can put them into water, wait a little bit for just for a couple of days until they will get roots, and then you can pot them. Or you can actually directly take the stems and put them in the soil and they will also grow. So much for today. I hope you like these plants. I hope you grow them. Tell me about your experience with them. I'm really curious to know uh, if they bloom with you, for how long, where you grow them, and all these tips to learn from you as well. And stay patient about plants. See you next time.